Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. You are welcome to the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac, episode number 12. In this episode, I shall be taking you through God's laws and I will explain it the way you never had it before. We know that matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. And we also know that matter exists in three main states. The solid state, the liquid state, and the gaseous state. Now, we are meant to understand that the difference between solid and liquid and gases is how close the molecules are. Let's call these molecules. Here, you see that the molecules are very close together. Here, they are not very close, but at least they are closer to each other than the way it is here. Therefore, we call this solid, where the molecules are packed, liquid, not so packed, and solid, the molecules are far, far, far apart. Because of this, solids, they have definite shape. Liquids, they don't have particular shape. Any can you pull liquid or you pour liquid, liquid will burn to take the shape of that can. Then we say that gases, they don't have definite volume. We don't say this gas, this is the volume. No, the volume of gases depends on various conditions. Since the molecules are so far apart, you can push them together to be close apart or you can make them to scatter and, and be moving up and down. This is where we look at this. When it comes to gas laws, this will make you understand most of the gas law and make you understand some of the terms that they mention in gas laws. Look at it. If these are molecules of gases, and let's say this is the container. This is the container. So the part that these gases are occupying, we can say it is what? The volume. It is the volume. And the main factors that affect volume are temperature and pressure. Let's start with pressure. If you apply pressure to this gas, what do you have? With pressure means you are pushing them together. You are pushing them together. As you apply pressure to this gas, you notice that it will, not, it will not occupy the space it's occupying, or it will not occupy as much space it is occupying now. It will get closer. You are pushing it, you are compressing the gas. The more you compress, the volume will reduce. Which means, as pressure increase, volume reduce. As pressure increase, volume will reduce because the molecules are not getting together. They are no longer occupying as much space as possible. Now, temperature. If you heat up these uh, molecules, you notice that they will gain more energy. They want to go out. Take this as prisoners. They are inside the room. You set fire in the room and the room is locked. Ah! I don't want to die. Boom, 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 boom. They are moving up and down. As a result of moving up and down, they are stacking everywhere. Each of them, 
they are looking for SK root. Therefore, as temperature increases, increase volume volume we increase as temperature increase volume increase yeah we said that as pressure increase volume will reduce this is like variation inverse variation as pressure increase volume goes down as pressure goes up volume goes down we therefore say that pressure Pressure is inversely proportional to volume, since as pressure increases, volume will reduce. Then here, we said that as temperature increases, volume will increase. This simply means that volume is directly proportional to temperature. Here also means that volume is inversely proportional to pressure, because as pressure increases, volume reduces. As volume increases, pressure reduces. Here also means that temperature is directly proportional to volume. Since we have three uh, variables using gas law, temperature, volume, and pressure. No, uh, temperature and pressure are very important. Therefore, this will only happen. Pressure will only increase and volume reduce if temperature is not changing. Because as you are increasing the pressure, volume will be dropping. But if the temperature now changes, temperature will have effect on the volume. Now, as temperature increases, volume will also increase. But you need to keep pressure constant. Because by the time you increase or reduce pressure, it may have to affect this relationship. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to Boyce's law and Charles' law. Boyce's law says that the volume of a fixed mass of gas or a given mass of gas is inversely proportional to its pressure, provided temperature is constant. So everything here is Boyle's law. He was the one who told us the relationship between pressure and volume at constant temperature. So anytime you hear that temperature does not change or temperature was not changed or temperature remains constant, just know that we are taking a look at Boyle's law. The Charles law says that the volume of a given mass of gas or of a fixed mass of gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature, provided pressure is constant. So, in Boyle's law, temperature is constant. In Charles' law, pressure is constant. Now, if you are a mathematics student, you are following my mathematics video, or you are not even a mathematics student, if I say pressure is inversely proportional to volume, can you solve this way? No. We don't solve with proportionality symbol or variation sign in mathematics. We convert to equal to. And how do you convert proportionality to equality? It's simply by changing this to equal scale. So the constant can be anything. But proportionality to equality sign, you introduce a constant. So pressure is equals k1 over v. So P is equals K over V. P is equals K over V. If you cross multiply here, it means that pressure times volume is constant. Pressure times volume is constant. So, which means if you have this graph like this, Boyle's law says that as pressure increases, volume will reduce. As pressure increases, volume will reduce. It means if we have pressure here and we have volume here, as pressure is going up, volume is dropping. This is the relationship, inverse relationship. Now, if we compare here and here, here and here, pressure is directly proportional to 1 over volume, which means if we have pressure here and we have 1 over volume here, as pressure increases, 1 over volume will increase. Now, from here, we said that pressure times volume is constant. Therefore, if we have Pressure times volume here, and probably volume here, you see that here is constant. If we have volume or pressure here, and we have PV here, then this will certainly go up. It's a simple graph, which means for Charles' law, since volume is directly proportional to temperature, if we have volume here, 
and we have temperature here as volume increase temperature increase if here is zero here is one two three and here is two four six if temperature is two you notice that volume will be four if temperature is three volume will be six so as temperature is increasing volume is reducing and if we change here to equality we will see that volume is equals k times t so this equals k is proportionality sign therefore volume divided by temperature is equals constant according to charles well, that graph would be volume over temperature volume over temperature with volume over temperature is constant so up to this point we've been able to establish that pv is equals constant pressure times volume according to Boyce's law and according to Charles' law we've been able to see that volume is equals k times t and dividing both sides by t volume over temperature is constant what about a situation where the volume is changing or the temperature is changing what happens if i say this is the first pressure and this is the first volume it is equals constant if the volume changes and the pressure changes it simply means that the second pressure let's take it as p2 the second volume or the increase in volume let's take it as v2 this will also be equals constant so p1 v1 is constant p2 v2 will also be constant now constant doesn't change constant is equals constant if p1 v1 is equals constant and p2 v2 is equals constant it means that p1 v1 is equals p2 v2 with this relationship when you are given second volume and second pressure and first pressure you can find the first volume or initial volume if you are given initial pressure and initial volume plus final volume you can find the final pressure so with this formula this formula and this formula you can solve any question under Boyle's law. Similarly, for Charles' law, if initial volume is 1 and initial temperature is 1, V1 over T1 is equals constant. If there is increase in volume, the second volume is V2 and the second temperature is T2. V2 over T2 will also become constant. Since anything you have V over T, it is equals constant. And constant doesn't change. So constant here, is the same thing as constant here therefore v1 over t1 is equals v2 over t2 you see that if you have v1 and t1 and v2 you can find t2 so anyone you are not given you'll be able to look for it this is the full idea of voice law and chart law let's solve one question then we move to the next episode where we continue gas law the average kinetic energy of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature yes why as temperature increase the gases they move faster and kinetic energy is the energy due to motion so if temperature increase an average gas will move faster therefore the average kinetic energy or the mean will increase b says at constant temperature the volume of a gas increases as pressure increases there is no way volume will increase when you compress a gas as you are compressing the gas or you are increasing pressure volume must drop so at constant temperature the volume of a gas is supposed to reduce as pressure increase as we've seen so far so option b does not make sense to us and option c says the temperature of a gas is directly proportional to its volume yes temperature and volume they are direct proportionality if we say directly proportional uh, proportional it means as one increase the other one will also increase and option d says the pressure of a gas is inversely proportional to its volume yes as pressure increase volume will reduce so option b is not true and that is our correct option this brings us to the end of this class and make sure you get the flash exam out study as many questions as possible make use of the features you can study by topic uh, uh, follow the uh, quiz even competition to win big
you don't have excuse not to get the app. Nice one. See you next.